video today. I'm going to finish up that second half of that huge haul that I have in here and that I still have not started listing, which I'm hoping to do this week. Um, but I did this half, which was a whole bunch of cups. I still have a few cups, but I have a few other things to show you. So let me start with the three cups that I have left. This is one that I got for my daughter. It's got the initial A on it. And these are the ones they were selling. It's the same brand, I know, because I received one as a gift a few years ago from a coworker with the T on it, but I gave it to my daughter who has uh, the same initial as me. And um, so anyway, this one I got for my daughter and I got it for a dollar. I believe it was half price that day. So they were $1.99 and I got it for 99 cents pretty much. Really nice condition as well. It looks pretty new. It doesn't look like it was used at all. So that's a really nice one. I really like these. A lot of people use these for their desk accessories. And I thought this was a really pretty sort of a tiki style. And this one was marked 69. So I got it for about, what, 35 cents? And it has sort of a Christmas motif. It kind of reminds me, as I said, a sort of a tiki cup, but it's got little reindeer and I think snowflakes around it, and that is made in Japan. Really cute. I like the small size. There are times that I like these small cups. Okay, another cup. I thought, I know that, you know, the Christmas mugs are saturated and you can't always sell them on eBay, but I thought this one was really different because it's sort of a stained glass motif. Well, it is a stained glass motif it says joy on both sides it's got the Christmas tree it's got a heart and I just think it's really different I think it's pretty nice and I think this one was this one was 50 cents but I'm thinking if I checked the I checked the mark on it I think it's Russ yeah it's a Russ so these are known for their cute little designs I really like that this a game this was a sealed game and it was originally $18 from the Toys R Us price, and then I don't know what it was marked down to, but I got it for $4 at the Goodwill, and I think it's ringing up for about $30, $35 on Amazon, so I'm going to send or hopefully list that and sell that on Amazon. Then I got this for, I think this was $2. This was at Epic as well. Those mugs were from Epic. This is $1.99. I got it for a dollar. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with 31. But if you are, let me know. Is this a lunchbox or some kind of cooler? I'm going to use it for a lunchbox. Because it's a little bit bigger than a lunchbox. And I have this huge, double, double this size. I have a lunchbox that I use for work. Because I take my, my breakfast in there. Sometimes I'll take a whole box of cereal. And, you know, carry it back and forth when I don't have time to fix myself little little prepared meals so I just grab and go everything including plates with last night's you know dinner on them so uh, when I don't want to take that huge one I use a small one but sometimes even the small one is just it's not big enough so I thought this was a nice medium size but if you guys know anything about this uh, particular style I know this is a very expensive brand I do have one of their um, I had a friend who sold them at one of my where I worked and I bought, I think, a wallet from her and a few other things. I know they're really pricey, but I am not sure what this is. I don't know, maybe it says on the label, I haven't really read it, but if you guys know, I think it's a lunchbox, so just let me know if you happen to, to recall. This has a really nice print on it, kind of a paisley design, navy. It's really cute and it's in really good condition. It looks brand new, it doesn't look like it's been worn at all or used at all. All right, and then I got, this was the teapot I was going to tell you about last time, but then I ran out of time with all of the, um, with all of the cups I showed you, and I have, I'm not going to take the tape off of it yet, I should have already done it, but I'm going to use a heat tool to do it, because I would hate for any of the paint to come off, but I don't think it will with this brand, this is a good brand, this is that, um, Odegari or o I'm not even sure how to pronounce some of the pickers out there talk about it. Yeah, this is Marianne Baker and it's Odegiri, Odegiri, O T A G I R I. I know they make mugs and other things, and I did look this up on eBay and they had, let me put this light down, guys. Sorry, I was going to show you this light that I got, but 
kind of it's kind of getting in my way it's better so it won't glare so much but isn't that precious it's pink little pig it's got a purple bow holding some corn there some ears of corn there and I think it's just precious and it, there's nothing wrong with it no chips or grazing nothing at all it's got a little mark there but I think that's like a sharpie marker that we can take off and um, yeah so I think these were selling anywhere from 40 to 60 dollars on on eBay and I cannot wait to put it up there but I wanted to show it to you guys before I listed all of this I have a whole bunch of stuff to list right. and then I wanted to show you this lamp this is a lamp that I showed you or I talked to you about it in my I think it was a collection video one of my handbag collection videos and I told you I had gotten a um, a light from what is this Ikea and I got this for I believe it was five dollars and um, I'm not gonna I'm thinking about selling it kind of reminds me of a jelly bean or something or a pill I don't know but it's a very nice um, under light I like to put it under really really nice boy it's glaring isn't it yeah it looks really nice for that and it's kind of low light as well so anyway I got this for five dollars it's from Ikea I love the cord it's got sort of a coiled phone old-fashioned co uh, phone cord on it and uh, that was just something that I got a few months ago but I forgot to show it to you and oh, they're by the Mason uh, carafe or whatever these I looked up also on eBay and um, one of them was selling for about 40 and I only got I only paid three dollars well not even three a dollar fifty because they were half price and uh, I saw Paul Mason since 1852 it says on there it just kind of spoke to me and I thought I would look it up and then sure enough these are collectible carafes and um, then this one just says since 1852 and I think I saw this one first and then just you know just seeing that little seal kind of kind of you know called my attention so then I looked them both up and again these were $1.50 they were Mark three at Epic so I'm hoping to put those up maybe as a set you know maybe for $50 or something we'll see uh, I didn't research it, research it extensively, but I did see most of them going for over $25. I think the lowest was $25 a piece, and some as high as $60, $40. So I believe that is it. I do have a whole lot of books that I'm going to bring you in a book haul. I like to kind of do that separately. So please come back again really soon and join me for that. And I also have a ride-along for you that I'm working on. So I'll talk to you then. Thank you. Bye. Bye.